All right, Jay, let's start off with this. For people who don't know much about the film or anything about the film yet, tell us about Rise and Shine. A year and a half ago, about six months before the World Cup started, um, I got approached by two friends of mine, Nick uh, Lewis and Ronco Tutulugio. Both of them are uh, uh, not video or movie people at all, really. One's what well, Ronco's an acupuncturist, and Nick is uh, a lawyer. So, uh, but both <laughs> funny enough, so that started the whole story. Um, and basically, they, they, they're just big soccer fans, and they wanted um, to tell my story. And they, they, I had been friends with Ronco, played with Ronco for two years at uh, UNC, Illinois, Chicago. And basically, they, they just thought that my soccer story was unique. And uh, so they wanted to get it out there, and they knew if they wanted to get the right foot to bring so. Um, and the World Cup, of course, only happens every year. So they thought it was crucial for me to, to either be on board or, or say no to the project. I got approached by, by them about six months before the World Cup, and I just thought, you know what, um, the salary is a bit bigger than me, so let's just tear ego, put it aside for a little bit, and, uh, and, and really make a soccer movie. Uh, that, that's true, which is kind of how it all began. What's it like for you? I mean, I, I got to imagine it's strange for anybody to see themselves on the news or see themselves in the newspaper, but you actually have a film now about you and your story. What's that, is that surreal for you, or, or how is that for you? <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know, it's always going to be a, a pretty surreal scene. You, you do have to wrap your head around it at times and, and kind of pinch yourself and think that, you know, again, I, the other day I was buying Twizzlers at a movie that was starring me. <laughs> <It> was <crazy. laughs> um, so, yeah, I, I mean, originally it, you, it's a little bit strange to uh, to get behind because ultimately what you're doing, you're promoting yourself. And, you know, for anyone that will see my story is that that's not really uh, my, type of, my type of personality. So I think first and foremost that was... That was the toughest thing to get around. But once you do that, you really just enjoy it. And, and, and I've really enjoyed this project now. And just to see that the soccer community come together to make this film happen has been amazing. Now, uh, people watching this interview can probably tell that you are out at a public place. You're at a Starbucks right now, taking a break, actually, from, uh, from practice for, uh, from your team facilities. How have teammates and people you play with reacted to the movie so far? Uh, well, you know, thankfully, they're all mainly soccer people. Um, and, and soccer people are, uh, they understand the, the community, they understand uh, um, how passionate and cultural the, the soccer community is. And so, you know, I think they, they respect the fact that the story is something that's very unique. And um, again, that's where the story lies. It's not just some guy making a soccer story about himself or his career. It's, it's literally something that, in a lot of senses, has never happened in the soccer world before. And, and that's what they're trying to express here with this film. And, and, it, and it's, it makes it a lot easier for me to get on board. Jay, a lot of documentaries don't just uh, you know, tell a series of events. They ultimately tell a story. What do you and the filmmakers hope people walk away from Rise and Shine with? Um, I think a couple things, you know, I think ultimately, again, it, because it is about soccer, um, it's it, it's about those millions of kids, literally millions of kids that were, are, are and will be in my exact position, mm. you know, whether they're out of high school, whether to, go, whether to go to play college soccer or whether they're college soccer players um, going to try to maybe play professional, you know, those that type of filter is, is very hard. And um, I guess for me, it's, it's to see all those kids that they can go out and do that. It's not just, mm. I didn't grow up in the system, I didn't play U17 national team, so therefore I'm never going to go play in a World Cup. Uh, first off, on a soccer community, it's for those kids. And secondly, it's just for anyone that wants to go out and do something that they think is bigger than them and, uh, and, and to believe that they can. And I guess, uh, again, that's the overlying message. So you don't just have to be a soccer fan or a soccer person to go and see this story. And, and, and again, I think the guys have done a really good job in making a film that, that doesn't just talk about soccer. It's just about, you know, an attitude or a belief. Well, listen, Jay, thank you so much for taking the time to join us today to talk about Rise and Shine. Congratulations on the film, and we're looking forward to seeing it. Well, thank you. And, and again, I thank AMC a lot and, and a lot of people, again, that have really gone out of their way to back this project. You know, I think we, we continue to say how, how excited we are that it is where it is. And it's only and it is only where it is because of the fans and because of people, um, you know, getting behind the project to get it out there. So, you know, we're very appreciative as well. And, uh, and thank you very much. Awesome. Well, congratulations and uh, have a good rest of the day of practicing. <laughs> Will do. Back to work. Take care. See ya.